Hi guys, this is James with Gorilla Truck Box. I wanted to give you an overview of the three different trucks that we have designed for our industry. We have the Gorilla G1, the Gorilla G2, and down on the end is the Gorilla G3. So I want to take you a walk around these trucks, first with the doors closed, and then we'll open up the doors and let you look inside. So let's start with our Gorilla G1. <clears throat> it's built on a 5500 Silverado, and you, uh, you can get it on a Chevy, Ford, or Dodge, 120 inch CA truck. Uh, so any of those three platforms you can build this truck on. This one is a crew cab 5500 Duramax diesel engine. Let's go down and look at our uh, Gorilla G2. It's built on a Chevy Cutaway 3500. It's a uh, great truck for restoration. It's got, uh, you can get it in a 3500 or a 4500. This one has the 6.0 engine in it. So very, very reliable truck. And then our uh, G3 is built on the Ford Transit uh, Cutaway. A uh, little smaller truck, it's only seven foot wide instead of our other two trucks which are eight foot wide. So let's go look on the other side of these trucks. <coughs> Since this truck is only seven foot wide, you have no compartments here because your equipment goes right behind here. But you do have uh, a couple of nice compartments here on the side. Now if you compare that to our G2 here, you have all these compartments uh, because this one is eight foot wide, so you got more space uh, on this truck uh, depth wide. And then, uh, of course, back to our G1, you notice in, in comparing them, there's no shelves up high because this truck sets up so high, it's kind of hard to reach stuff up there. But you got a lot of compartments here. And your inside uh, compartments are, you gotta go in the inside to access this top part. Now let's move around to the back and we'll start opening these doors on these trucks. This small door here, the main reason for it is you do have access. If you, if you go to a restoration job and you take all your equipment and set it up, maybe you need to pick up oriental rugs. Well, once your equipment's out, you can slide in oriental rugs in there. This thing here is uh, 16 feet long. Well, the total truck is, uh, is 28 feet long. If you, if you also look inside there, Tim, uh, you notice we got LED lights in all compartments. We got a little bit of equipment in here so you can see what's going on. You can put 40 air movers of the Phoenix uh, Dry Maxes there on your left. Now, no, let's come around here. Notice we do have a hitch. Oh, I was gonna show you too. Since this deck sets up so much higher, uh, we've got a pull-out ramp. So your pull-out ramp, so you can load your equipment in and out easy. And of course, this being a diesel truck, you've got a hitch where you can pull a trailer full of equipment and got all the power you need to do it. This truck, we put a, an extraction-only machine in it, so it just has uh, extraction wands in it. You got a place for your chemical. Uh, the shelf's adjustable so you can uh, put whatever you want in it. This being a extraction only truck, uh, one thing nice about it is nothing's going to freeze in this truck uh, and except for your DUs or something. So it's, uh, nothing's going to freeze the truck mount anyway. But in case you're afraid of anything like that, like your chemicals freezing, we do have a heater up inside built for this truck. This has got a, this is actually a 400 foot electric reel. So you got, uh, for big commercial jobs, you, you've got plenty of room in this truck. This actual feet across here is seven and a half feet. It's actually 95 inches from that wall to that wall. So lots of room to put big equipment in here. And of course, like I said, you can get this in a crew cab, uh, single cab, or four wheel drive or two wheel drive. Uh, now let's go to the other side of this truck uh, with, the door, with the doors open. Now this is, a, like I, I don't know if I said that, but the, it's a Duramax with the Allison transmission. 
So it's going to give you years and years of, and let me show you how easy this is to access your engine on this. Something new for 2020 for Chevy is engine opens up where you can get to everything real easy which is important on a on a diesel they pack so much in one of those little spaces and you notice here on this side you can put 20 more air movers so i got 40 air movers inside there 20 air movers there i got two air scrubbers another small dehumidifier there and whatever you want really want want to put in these compartments uh, all right, so that's kind of the go around of uh, the G1. Let's go to the G2 next. I don't have any equipment in this truck, but let's just start here from the back end. You notice it still has the back door here where you can, once you unload your equipment, you got room to slide in rugs or if you're in if you're in carpet cleaning and do multiple services, it's a great truck for that too. Maybe you, maybe your main business is carpet cleaning, tile cleaning, and uh, doing oriental rugs in plant where you're going out and picking up rugs and bringing them back to your plant. Great truck for that as well. Uh, if you notice the inside, with the equipment in here, it gives you about seven foot of space on the back end of this truck where you can put as, as much as 16 uh, R175 dehumidifiers on the back. We do put hitches on these for you too, so you can pull a, a vehicle, I mean a, a, a trailer. You have your uh, wand space uh, or upholstery tools, whatever you want to put in your in that compartment. And then we have a uh, place for your uh, your chemicals here. You got a, this one has a not, not quite as wide a door. This is a six foot wide door compared to that one seven and a half feet wide. It's built on a Chevy cutaway. Uh, this one has the 6.0 engine, which is a very reliable motor. And you notice our, our uh, doors here are, are really easy up and down. They got a nice finish on them before you can put a wrap on them. <laughs> Real easy to open and close. Let's look at the other side of the truck. And this one's not too bad. You can you can actually reach reach here pretty well. So you can put uh, actually 42 air movers of the Phoenix uh, Dry Max in there, and you can put three of their small DUs below. And then you got a compartment there to do a few other things with. All right, that's the G2. Here's the G3. You notice it's not as wide a truck. We only got a a truck here that's seven foot wide instead of eight foot wide so you can maneuver it a little bit better but it's got a few features that's designed more for your carpet cleaner so you can look take a look inside of that Tim for us notice how low the deck is on this one so easy to step in and out of uh, come around here Of course, you've got your compartment again for your wands, upholstery tools. You've got a chemical compartment. Same kind of setup here on the side. Same, same width of door, actually same length of truck as our G2. Uh, but, and, but you've got a little, a little more depth here with the, with the vehicle. Let's look at the other side. Of course, this is only, we only build this one on the Ford Transit. And it's the Transit 3500 HD. Uh, no compartments here, but you do have some pretty nice sized compartments here. This one will even drop down out of your way. Actually, all of ours will. You have little bumper stops on here. Uh, so you can drop it down, get it completely out of your way, or you can reach in there real easy. If you like carrying a, an RX20, CRB or uh, Cymex machine or any of those type, you got a good door here where you can grab those things out easily and not have to crawl in and out of your truck so much. So there we go. So go to GorillaTruckBox.com and uh, if you have any more interest, give us a call 918.
250 9000. Thanks for watching.